So flexible chip to chip interconnect, uh, replacing what now what's this replace? A wire right now or is it So this is this is like replacing things like legacy backplanes, PCB kind of wired okay. wired IO. Okay. And and the reason for doing this, part of the reason why we, to, to reduce the power, we're optimizing the full system. So we're looking at reducing the uh, the energy that's in the circuitry by co-designing it with the interconnect itself. Okay, so, so it's the whole organic sort of yeah, energy efficiency. Yeah, yeah. If, you look, if you look at how the signal is launched into this, it's actually, rather than going in through the package and into the PC board, mm -hmm. uh, which can result in a lot of discontinuities and require a lot of equalization, which is expensive in terms of power, um, here we're launching it off the top side of the package uh, and through the interconnect. So we avoid the discontinuities associated with the um, Going into the package. So the interconnects sort of feel up almost like seaweed at the top of the uh, top of the package. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then it just connects straight to this, and you have much more. It's almost a more direct connection. It is. Yeah, it's a much it's a much more uh, direct connection. And it, and it, it, it what it does is um, it, it disassociates the PCB technology from the actual interconnect technology itself because you can you can optimize those separately now. Okay. And this is the board here. You got yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay, look, you get a little piece of ribbon here. Yeah, so we've got the two, we've got the two, uh, uh, the two chips uh, talking to each other. Each lane is 10 gigabits per second. How much energy are you saving on something like this? This is about 10x better than today's PCI Express kind of products. Really? Yeah. It's with in a server. What would this, what kind of, would you say, a couple of watts or would this, where would the savings come in a real world situation? Oh, in a server? Well, let me show you this. Or a PC or something. Yeah. So if you look at where a server is today, you've got about, in the range of about 200 gigabytes per second, not a high-end server. Mm -hmm. Within the next 10 years, you can expect that to jump up to somewhere in the neighborhood of a terabyte per second. And that would that would mean that you're up in the range of 100, 200 gigabytes. Right. So not, that's not that's sustainable. That's like two TVs, yeah. It's not sustainable for a server. So if you look at where this, uh, where this goes with this kind of technology, this is where we are here. Well, we're cutting this power, this energy, by about an order of magnitude, down to about nine, nine to eighteen. Months. You can put in PCs, servers, storage systems, anything. Yeah, what, that what we're doing here is we're demonstrating the low, the energy efficient technology, and then it's, it has applications across, like, across the board, going from mobile all the way up to high end servers and, and, and cloud computing. Why not just go straight to optical? Would this be like a bridge into like you know ultimately doing optical connections with uh, components or? Oh. No, I think we're we're optimistic. Tough, right? Yeah, we're optimistic on optical as well. I think this is this is optimized for a cost optimized system and also a power optimized system within the box. The optical that you'll see over over there um, is more for box to box kind of communications today. Any idea when this might come out or? No, those, I mean it's those, tough. Right? Those, it's those decisions are up to the product right. groups themselves. What we're doing here is demonstrating the fact that that we can reduce the energy uh, by a, by an order of magnitude versus what's up. But is it fairly evolved or is it something that you know? Potentially a few years out or a long way out? Um, that, that's again up to the product group, but I think what we're showing here is this is available today. This is not, we're demonstrating yeah, it's, it's a working right now. 